And just seconds before the clock strikes midnight, we welcome you inside the NBA. I was wrong about that one. Presented by Keith. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Ooh-wee. Ernie Johnson, well, Shaq, Shredomus is off Kenny on that and one. Kenny Charles. Uh, Chuck celebrating the winning with that. <laughs> I love that yeah, normal, isn't it? Many more donuts. Hey, there you go, there you go. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, guys, thanks for the tweets. Even though I don't do social media, but we appreciate the tweets. Yes, we do. Appreciate you hanging out and watching us here on Inside. Oklahoma City, the focal point on Thursday night, the place where Russell Westbrook spent 11 seasons, played more than 800 games in the Thunder uniform, made eight all-star teams, won an MVP, and averaged a triple-double in each of his last three seasons, all the while running with a motor that only knew one breakneck gear. On July 16th, he was traded to Houston for Chris Paul and nearly six months later returned to OKC for the first time. A lot of love in that building for Russell Westbrook. And one of the best fan bases in the NBA. Yeah, saying we're never going to see it again. Chris Paul had himself a night on the OKC side. I'm glad they're doing well, but those fans deserve to have a good competitive team. Yeah, Shea Gilgis Alexander has a good guy to learn from in Chris Paul oh, on that team. Okay, I'll see you. They just loading up. 48-34 at this point, and James Harden had had a very slow first half. I don't know if Houston retired from the game last night, but OKC just had more energy from the start. Oh, they played the Hawks last night. Yeah. Yeah, still was an almost blew a 20-something point lead. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a game, Chuck. Stop it, Shaq. Westbrook. <laughs> oh, they played the Hawks. Westbrook was the only rocket enjoying a good night. That's the like at the half it was six. Hey, that's, the, that's the scrimmage. CP3 pulling uh, out the knocking down. You know Chris was going to probably Chris was ready for this game tonight. Danilo Gallinari, a 29-19 third quarter. As they put this thing out of reach. Hmm. Oh, yes, it was that kind that of a type of night. I know that's going on. Sector. Oh, you know it. <laughs> Come on, finish that. Come, come on. Finish that. Come on. Oh, a season more well, points well, for well. Houston, 92. They were tired from last night, they Doug. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Set. Look at Chris Paul. Oh, they like this little What's day. What's that called, a nutmeg? Uh, yeah. uh, that, that's a Go between his legs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You just go between the two guys. Yeah. 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 If it went between the legs, it's a nutmeg. OK. Yeah. Nutmeg. Yeah. You act like it's the good old days when they was a ballsy player, there, Mike Kenny. I tell you, Jack, you act like uh, they went to the Gold Club or something last night. One thirteen to ninety two, and it was a nice club. way to finish too, with uh, Russell Westbrook saluting the crowd. Well, he did, well, listen, they gave him a lot of love. Uh, they they are great fans in Oklahoma City. Uh, Russ, they had a tough game, but I, I was just glad they showed Russ love because he deserved that. I I admire that man. For giving maximum effort every night, he don't load management. Nothing but love and respect. And on a, and then Chris Paul, I told you, he to me he's the best leader in the NBA. They got a bunch of young pieces to go with Stephen Adams and Chris. They're gonna be competitive. But in yeah. games like that, Ernie, you can never do it by yourself. Your teammates gotta they, they gotta step up. And you know Houston really didn't have a lot of energy tonight. Didn't shoot the three ball well at all. Lacks the days going defense, but in games like that, you're going to be emotional. Your team has to be, you know. Yeah, but see, Shaq, that's one of the reasons you guys are higher on the Rockets than I am. Like, if you look at the Rockets, James and Russ have to play well for them to win. Like, they have to play well. Uh, I don't think there is any other player uh, in the NBA. Uh, a team where you can say, well, this guy has to play well. Like, James and Russ have so much responsibility for that Rockets team. If they don't play crazy every night, they're not going to win. Harden, 17 points on 5 of 17 shooting. That is a season low for him. But Oklahoma City gets 20 from Shea Gilgis Alexander, 18 from Paul, 16 from Schroeder, 23 from Gallinari. Adams goes for 15 and 8. 
This is Stephen Adams' seventh year. First time he's averaged a double-double, uh, 12 and 10 going into this game. So, yeah, I think as you put it earlier, nice pieces on this team. Yeah. Well, but see, and, what's going to be interesting, uh, number one, I think uh, Rudy Gobert and Stephen Adams are probably the two most underrated players in the NBA. What's going to be very interesting for Oklahoma City is the trading deadline that's coming up in the next month. Because you got two guys who I think could take you from being here to be a champion. That's Chris Paul and Steven Adams. And you have to, uh, Oklahoma City, they got a bunch if of. If you're another team. If you're another team. Okay. Because Chris, if you, uh, like I said, I don't even know what team I have in mind, but if he went to certain teams with his leadership, and Steven Adams, I think I said he's unbelievable. But they, I, I, to me, they, I personally believe they got to be sellers. Because even as great as they're playing, they're the number seven seed. And there's no number seven seed going to go deep in the playoffs in the Western Conference. Well, we thought, you know, at the beginning of the season, we said this, this team could be six, seven, eight, you know, as constructed. But the key is commitment. Is there going to be a commitment to say these are the guys? And so far, they've all bought into we're here and we're going to maximize our effort and we're going to, and we're going to play together and we're going to play the right way. And... You know, the, those three guards, you know, with, with, uh, with, with CP3 and, 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 and Alexander uh, and, and Gilchrist and, and Schroeder, they all do, they all are effective in different areas of the floor, which is kind of weird. Like, usually you have three guards, like, like one or two of them do the same thing. They all do different things and difficult to guard, but are they committed to this group and just building in with more draft picks? Or they're saying, nope. We don't mind. We don't even care if we don't make the playoffs, and we're gonna go, we're gonna be we're gonna be sellers, and we're gonna get rid of Chris Paul. We're gonna trade Adams, and we're gonna really go young, or not? Because Chuck, they could, you know, be seven seed this year, bring in a draft pick, make one more slight move, and then all of a sudden you're four. So no, because, okay. because you have Kenny to factor up it, Kenny. You, you have to, yeah, you, Kenny. Because first you of all, you, it, you have to factor in uh, Chris's age, thirty-six. Mm-hmm. He's thirty-six. Mm-hmm. And old people don't get old. They don't get better. They get older. And listen, they're not, listen, the Lakers and the Clippers are the two best teams in the West. True. Then you got Utah. And, and then, this is where I'm saying between Utah, Denver. They're Dallas. not better than Utah and Denver. I'm saying that about they Dallas? construct the team uh, I, I think, very similar to I, what I, they I think have. That's, that's a great question, Shaq. I, I don't know if they're better than Dallas. That will be a great series. But the top four teams are set. Lakers, Clippers, Denver, Utah. Uh, you, and Utah's playing great right now. Uh, but those four teams are the best in the West by far, and I think the Clippers and the Lakers have separated themselves, Westbrook, in my opinion. Westbrook, 34, leads everybody on the night, but the Rockets lose by 21 at OKC. Boston and Philadelphia. And Joel Embiid not playing in this one against Kemba Walker and the Celtics because he's got ligament damage in that dislocated ring finger on his left hand, and so he's going to have surgery on Friday. Uh, Step you back. Yeah, Kemba doing what Kemba does. Yeah, he came off firing after that ejection. 13 points in the first quarter. Boston was up nine. Oh, who he played for? Yeah, like Norvell Pell, huh? Okay, you know what? Cantor with the finish underneath. It was a 12-point game, and then a 12-0 run by Philadelphia got him back in this thing. That's Josh Richardson. Ernie, you know, who had 29. See, this I, t- I told you tonight. This is the beginning of the Sixers season right now. It's time for Ben to be a leader, be great. Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah. But, but also, uh, Josh and Tobias, those guys go out to step up. So this is the time when your team's going to grow. Philly hit them 19 to 4 early in the third quarter. Kemba for three there, and then Ben Simmons. I think they will step up, Chuck, because even though Ben's doing his post move, he don't like to shoot. All you got to do is run to get to your spot. Uh, you see, you know, you got. I, I, I would love to play with a guy like Ben who didn't want to yeah, shoot the ball, and all you got to do is run the forward. Stand out there and shoot three like you that. guys do today. That's Norvell Pell again with the block Norvell. on Cantor and the little finger wave. I'm a the by the name they kid Norvell. Work on Korkmosk connected there and then. Sound like an ice cream, don't you? Yeah, oh. come on. <laughs> sure hey, can you hand me some of that Norvell Pell? <laughs> <laughs> Norvell Pell. Hey, honey, can you give me some Norvell ice cream? <laughs> what kind do you want? The Norvell, the best ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you 
are always selling, good fella. Uh, <laughs> poor hey, shout out, shout out to my guy Elton Brand uh, go, for going out getting Al Horford, yeah. who's going to be really huge. He's just right. shouting them out. He's been there all year. Well, I know, but I'm saying, well, they haven't played well. If we talk about this, Kelly, what's wrong with this jump up? Yeah, it's it. it's a little further back. <laughs> it's it's behind his head instead of on yep. the side of his head. It works. Yeah, yeah it does work. Uh, ben work Simmons on the night. 19 points on 9 of 15 shooting. Horford had 17, 8, and 6. First time he said better than 15 points in a month. Shout out to the Lakers that. for getting Anthony Davis since you shouting out people doing stuff eight months later. Well, uh, yeah, uh, my bad. Shout out to LeBron James for getting Anthony Davis. There you go. How's that? Uh, eight months later. <laughs> like, he's like, shout out to Elton Bragg. He's like, no, but I'm saying, though. Like, all year. No, no, but that, <laughs> this is why he's here, though. No, no, no but I'm case, saying, though, this guy got hurt. It's, it's, the, it's the first time he's had over 15, which he should have more than 15 points. He should be averaging that. But now, when Joel Embiid gets hurt, he's going to be out a while. You plug in a guy who's been yeah. an all star. So that's a. I did say he has to play like the Boston Horford. Horford now and not this Philadelphia yes, did, version Kenneth. who has not been scored. Exactly scoring. what you said. And saying. tonight he gets 15 points. This is exactly what I said. And I just. <sighs> yeah, you repeat it like you always do. Reiterated, fool. How many times, how many <laughs> times have I heard Chris Paul is the best leader? Fool. That's what that would be. I heard that 900 times. I don't want to hear it no more time. I'm going to stab you next time you say Chris Paul is <laughs> the best leader in the NBA. Don't Come say it. Come on, man. Act like a thug on here. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia. I took it. No, he said Charles. Charles. He didn't say Charles. I think. <laughs> has beaten the Celtics now. Chris three, Paul's the best leader. Chris Paul, we all, know. All Damn. three hey. times this year, hey, and they're 11 and 1 when they hold teams under 100. They hold Boston to 98 tonight and win it 109 to 98. The uh, Houston Rockets and Oklahoma City Thunder, as we just showed you the highlights, 113 to 92, and Russell Westbrook's return. Mm to Oklahoma City. We understand that Russell is in the process of making his way oh, great. to the uh, podium. Yes. And uh, we'll hear his post-game thoughts on... Uh, you know what? That, that what? last year in, in Boston, you <laughs> played like a slug. <laughs> you were barely making it up and down the court. Yeah, but when I got home, I looked at my cabin and I saw four things that you will never see. What's that? All right, and Don't yes. All right, and yes. Yeah. He said, all right. Hey, yeah. hey, listen, Ed McMahon, why you got to, every time Johnny says a joke, you got to jump. No, because I looked at, no, because no, I looked at my cabinet and saw something you ain't see either. Exactly. Two R-I-I-G-S. Yeah. I'm like, Kelly, that's it. Six Rings, that's the name of our podcast. That's the name of our podcast. Rings. I still, Dom and Dom sounds yeah, better rings. than me. Oh. It's better than Steam Room. Yeah. No, Steam Room is awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're just a hater, brother. No, Steve Rue. Six rings. I like it. You like that, six rings? Hey, uh, yeah. What are you guys talking about here? What you see on Chuck's hands? Yeah, you had Cheeto fingers, <laughs> fat boy. Look at you. You had Cheeto <laughs> fingers, no, fat boy. That's your, um, <laughs> Manny Petty. No. No, it's Cheeto. Is the, uh, what's the stuff you put in? Or was it, was it the, yeah, uh, Cheeto fingers. Was it, it the it? strawberry, uh, No, strawberry he was here. No, don't. Ernie, don't protect. He was back there eating Cheetos. I saw him eating Cheetos. Stop it. It's like one calorie. No, Kenny, he was eating Cheetos. The, the, the meal drink. Yeah, no, yeah, he, was not. He, he was eating baked Cheetos, America. I, I saw you. I promise you'll hear from <laughs> Russell Westbrook on his return yeah. to OKC. I was eating not Cheetos. Yet. I was Take a break. And come hey, back. Alex, Cheetos. you're such a... Um, I've been just J.A. <laughs> that can't be his name. Players of the month. Somebody name their kid J A and stop. Players of the month. <laughs> it's some yeah, other. It's, it's some Yeah, I guess there's got to be some more stuff going on. Freak, freak. Freak. Yeah, there's got to be some more letters. You just can't stop at J A. That's not true. Ja Rule. Oh man. That is <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was named after Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to go to the Fire Festival. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Give me the update. The update on the all-star balloting, all won't you please? In the uh, Western Conference, by the way, LeBron James has taken over the top spot overall, Ooh. going from third to first. Ooh, this uh, is this I'm not but, mad at this list. But here's the but here's the deal. That's that's in order of votes, but in the front court, it's LeBron and Anthony Davis and Kawhi Leonard with Paul George fourth. Doncic and Harden are in the backcourt, one and two, with Lillard third. Well, that's, Alex that, Caruso, that's, no, look no. at him. He's, he's sixth among... Uh, Ernie, your son looks good the, out there. The Listen, this is, this is set, set in stone right here, Ernie. Yeah, yeah I, I like this. So that's gonna and be, it should that's, be. And it should be, correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'll say the same thing about the East. Why not? Well, because let's look at it. Uh, Giannis, 
Embiid and Siakam in the front court. Trey Young, Kyrie Irving would be the would be the uh, back court right now because Jimmy Butler is fourth in the front court. Well, see, listen. To that. And you gotta change the rules. You gotta change the rules. Well, this is the fans who they want to see. Yeah, yeah I'm not. It's the see, second yeah, returns. It's not. Look it. at. Uh, see, we just can't be letting everybody vote. <laughs> well, there's going to be, it, it's, it's the fans, it's the fans, it's the players, it's Stop the media. Right, hey, Last time, listen, last time we let all these people have an opinion, we had a catastrophe on our hands. Oh, what are you trying to say? White House. <laughs> what are you trying White to say? White House. Now, can't let everybody vote. We can't let everybody have an opinion. Yeah. Now, with Trey, is Trey Young an all-star? He's playing all-star-like, for sure. There's no doubt about it. He's playing all-star-like. Well, well, ho, 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 ho. If he's not voted in as a starter... It, it, it's close. Should, 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 according he, to I, Shaq's rules, he has he, to get in. No. Because no, you no. say it's no, not no. about the team. You, it's, you, a, it's about the individual. They have, they have Shaq, the worst you, record in the league. Stop, in, stop, Shaq. stop. And you just said it. He's playing all-star-like, so you're correct. Okay, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. I, I would say... Yo, it, oh, the team has that. Only, nah, only, I ain't got only, nothing to do with nothing. Winning matters. No, winning matter. does matter. Winning does matter. Winning matters, matter. but I would say... I'm, I'm told. That he's ex yeah. his, it's extraordinary numbers that he's putting up. Mello, in 2015... Ten win Knicks. Ten win Knicks, and he, and he was an all-star starter. So, Trey Stats. Young with the 8-30 and 30 all Hawks right singular. now. All-star singular. Don't forget it. All yeah, all I just say this. Uh, I'm not saying that By his points, team is rebounds. Up, the Charisma. only reason he gets my consideration is the numbers are astronomical. Thank you. They're, 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 even though he's on the worst team in, in the NBA. I thought the Hawks would be better. I, 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 but John, the John Collins um, no, that, no, that, that hurt. That, that, that hurt. That, 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 that's that not, hurt. No, but I they thought, were actually playing decent. No. They were close because, to 500. Because, you know, that. DeAndre, like five five. The, guy, the guy I thought was going to be in the conversation of rookie of the year, DeAndre Hunter, has not did what I thought he was going to do. Cam Reddish has not did what he was supposed to do. Like, when you get two lottery picks, you should not have the worst record in the NBA. I, listen, you know I like John Collins. But when this season started, the Hawks had two of the top ten draft picks. I'm saying, man. Yeah, but just because you're a lottery pick don't mean you're going to come in the first year and Your do first work. year. Yeah, but the, you should not yeah. have the worst record in the NBA. I, the, I, so the fans, the fans have Trey Young and Kyrie Irving as the starting backcourt right now. Well, Kyrie Irving has played 11 games. It, well, Ky, listen, Kyrie can't make the All Star team. Why? Because he hasn't played. He's played 11 games. I'm, I'm just asking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want no problems. He, want no problems. <laughs> he hadn't played. Yeah, I, I, I think That's that awesome. Trey Young is kind of like when we were voting with with um, Russell Westbrook with the MVP. It's like. All right, the, you know, usually the top two or three got teams, guys with the top two or three teams, but the numbers that he's putting these triple doubles up Thank for you. the year, the whole year, well, and, even though they're the six, seven most seed. Viable but, player, but we have most to viable about that. Yeah, let me say this. If the fans really were paying attention to the game, Jimmy Butler should be leading as the, from the I would I agree with that. From the guard position. Jimmy, the Miami Over Trey? Yes. Yes, yes over the Miami yeah. Heat, yeah. Miami. Yes. But Jimmy Butler's a front court guy. Uh, Thank you. Oh, he is? Yes. Yeah, see? So you got Giannis and Beaton Siakam. Siakam's usual. been out for a while, Siakam, too. But Siakam, did, well, well, let me just say this. He did deserve it. Early. Other than Giannis. Trey deserves to be there. No, no. Uh, let me just say this. In the Eastern Conference, other than Giannis, Jimmy Butler should be an all-star. Uh, Jimmy Siakam, Butler. Siakam. No, no. It, it, this is just my Even opinion. Even with the amount of games. No, no. I'm Siakam. saying just in, in just my opinion, Giannis and Jimmy Butler been the two best players in the Eastern Conference. And I'm going to tell you something. Tell me something. If my boy Bam out of Bayou... Oh, Bam is going to make it. Okay, uh, thank you. Bam's, I said Bam... People are going to make the All-Star. Bam, 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 Bam is going to make the All-Star. He deserves Bam yes, is yeah, an All-Star. He's not going to make it. No, Bam's going to make it. Bam. That, that, that record and his... Yo, he's averaging a double-double 18 points. I understand points. that, but the people don't know who he is yet. Bam will make... No, the coaches... Well, this this will be a way to let them know who he is. Bam, Bam... Y'all better start voting. Y'all better start voting for Bam out of Bayou. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is an all-star. Shaq and the Fool coming your way next here on Inside. Oh, got our picture on him here. Oh, whoa, these are kind of cool. Where are we? Oh, yeah, they do. Kenny, you're so, giving me your balls, too, because you don't play golf. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Thank you, Ken. And got That's the, really cool. My favorite there, Chuck. 32 on there. Thank I'll, you. Take, I'll take one Chuck. set. You can have the rest. Thank you. I'm Chuck. the only one play golf, me and you, Ernie. Charles. One thing, be gentle with my balls. <laughs> okay? <laughs>
<laughs> this is makes up for my uh, hey, play, hey, for hey. my PlayStation. Hey, look, I, hey, I'm not grabbing his balls. You grab <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. They gonna stay right there. You can have them yourself. If you want them, you grab them yourself. Ernie, hey, Chuck's hey. grabbing my balls. Hey, 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 ball. hey, hey kid in Shaq, thanks it's for the balls. Like, <laughs> is this like 10th grade or am I shooting too high? Uh, Lower? Hey, thanks, Ken. Hey. Seventh? Uh, sixth grade. <laughs> okay. Fifth grade. Hey, I'm hey, Shaq and a fool. Hey, they, they love, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of balls are talking. Look at this. All right. Ernie's face right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the young uh, That was pretty close right there, as a matter of fact. Uh, 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 wrapping things up on inside. That's going right viral, out. kid. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Balling up the night. You're watching Inside the NBA, brought to you by the Telluride from Kia, official automotive partner of the NBA. Visit Kia.com to learn more. That is the catchiest theme music yeah, around. Yeah, I like that. I really do. Welcome to the Steam Room, everybody. We've incorporated live guests. Chris Fowler of Big ESPN, name. Jake Tapper of CNN. Yes. Playing with Tiger in his heyday was incredible. For you, but not for him. You were the very first guest picker. You know that, right? I did not know that. You were the first guest picker. Chris Fowler is the first guest on the steam room. Wow. And I can't brag about our show because that just make you a And Ernie, you may or may not know this, but I first met Charles in a Wendy's. There's a pretty good chance of that. <laughs> the, the anchor laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Monica. This dude ain't getting in my neighborhood. <laughs> Big picture, you got two 14 no teams. Whatever happens, you're going to see a piece of football history. You know, I'm an SEC guy, so go LSU Tigers. Go LSU Tigers. Go LSU Tigers. <laughs> Be the next to download the Steam Room, wherever you download <laughs> your Chris, podcast. Chris Fowler and Jake Tapper today, that was the highlight of our three episode of podcast so far. Very fun thanks, talking to those guys. Yeah, today. thanks, Chris yeah, Fowler. Good luck Monday night. Yep. And, and Jake Jack Tapper. and I are starting our own podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Is what, being what's going to be, dumb, dumb and Dumber? No, no, we, you already took that <laughs> one. No, that's going to be called Rings. Oh, so oh. Something you know nothing about. And we only going to interview people who yeah. champ. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's yeah. that time. Oh. It's time for sponsorship since 1989. Thank you very it's a much, new year, Jack. though, Ernie. Huh? New decade. It's a new decade. That's come out and stop. Unsullied by sponsorship in this decade. That's it's that's really that's good. A shame. Um, you got a big game coming up there Monday, champ. We sure do. Yep. Well, well, how can you sure call him champ? They ain't played the game yet. No, he's a champ. Oh. 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 I'm, I'm oh right 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 you. now. No, he is. He's a Just champ. Four times. Four times. Okay. Uh, so I'm going at you. LSU and Clemson. LSU and Clemson, Monday night. Right, it's, uh, going, it's going to be a great game, great atmosphere. We're, we're at the crib. New Orleans is part of the crib. Yeah. Uh, 24 to 3. Oh, my God. Y'all going to score more than 24, and they definitely going to get more than three. Okay, 48 to 6. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I see what you did there. Yeah. Uh, let's test your knowledge. Hold on, let me make sure I got my stuff. Let's test your knowledge of Clemson and LSU. Well, he probably shouldn't. He should not know. Well, yeah, well, yeah. No, I, but I, I don't know. No, but here's oh, the let's deal. do it. I'm just going to show you. Know I'm going to show you guys side by side. Okay, tell got me it. Which team they play for? Oh, oh now you <laughs> said, hold on. This, is, this isn't a fair game because. Uh, Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence. Which one plays for LSU? Okay, Trevor Lawrence is touchdown Jesus. I know who that is. He plays for Clemson. Joe Burrow is my guy. I just saw him at LSU when I was down there last week. Correct. Very good. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, now. That was too easy. Justin Jefferson and T. Higgins. I'm going to go with Justin Jefferson. He has on the purple sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> and the other guy, yeah. That is pretty obvious. Way to go. He's a cop, y'all. He's a cop. He, he's very observant. How about this one? Travis, oh, he got another purple shirt. Travis Etienne and Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Purple shirt. Sounds Louisiana, but I'm gonna go with Travis for LSU and Clyde for. He's got another purple well, you shirt. That just means you're wrong. But no, I said no. I said Travis for Clemson. No, no you said Clyde. Travis for LSU. No, he said Travis. For <laughs> okay, so it's, yeah, you're, he was you're right. Out of three. No, he said Travis for Clemson. Thank you. Did there. I say Kenny? Yeah, yes. Next, Grant Delpit and Andrew. He's putting, they're putting purple shirts on everyone. That's funny. 
I see a thing on his collar. Looks like it says LSU. He looks like um, I'm gonna go with Grant Del Pilar, LSU, and Andrew Bart uh, at our Clemson. Yes, correct. And finally, you're doing very well, big fella. Jerron, oh, you know who this is. Jerron Blossom game and Tremont Water. You gotta know this. You know why? Because I'm gonna tell you that here's a here's a hint. It's not football. Kenny, oh, why would you why would you ball. blow the, the, the what? deal? But he wouldn't have, he doesn't. He played Clemson. he that's played it. for Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> Clemson. He yeah, played that's for Clemson. Me. Fremont Waters had a great uh, Yeah, he played with LSU? Yeah. Never knew that. Oh, very good. Thank you. Basketball. Uh he see he still didn't know. Good that's luck, big. That's ten. Episode 10. I know this is not my lane. Do you have a lane? Keep your towel on, please. That's our advice to Channing Fry. Don't expect me to just be up here and, and sugarcoat things for you, but I appreciate the call, and you know, you still <laughs> suck. <laughs> Deontay Wilder said he wasn't going to make excuses. I was disappointed he tried to use the costume as an excuse. Maybe he should have kept it on. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I almost went through a whole six pack by the time <laughs> between between the introductions of both of them. You believe we're talking about Joe Burrow's hands. Joe Burrow, listen, I made it through my life with nine inches. You'll be fine. <laughs> You want to reword that? No, yeah. I don't, actually. Nine inches! Oh, See, apparently yeah. I was right. Ernie's got some meat hooks. Yes, he does. I knew it was going to yeah. be, but Ernie got some meat Nine hooks. Nine and a half. How big are your feet, Chuckster? Uh, Seventeens. That make up for my small hands. <laughs> <laughs> we always finish up the show with Chuck's answering machine. Chuck, I heard you say that Goodfellas was one of your top five movies. What are the other four movies in your top five? Obviously, Braveheart. Liar, Liar is up there for me. Hey, Charles Barkley. So let me tell you a quick story about you and my mother. You played roulette with her, and you'd let my mom rub your head for good luck, and it was the best time she ever, ever had. You know, I, I love roulette. I, 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 uh, roulette. 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 I was going to say roulette. Uh, yeah. uh, I play one third of the board, and it doesn't work. It's amazing how far that ball bounces. Try another oh, third uh, of the board, dude. <laughs> Golly. I've never spent more than a half hour in a casino. I've sat at a table for 20 straight hours before. <laughs> I don't doubt that. I love it. Yep, obviously. Uh, and we hope you love this podcast called The Steam Room. And next week, episode number? It's 11. It's we get into the toes, y'all. All the way to We ran 11. out of fingers. We get into the toes. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to The Steam Room or wherever hey, you subscribe you to your podcast. Every young basketball player. Should listen to the steam room. D d d no, listen to the steam room first and foremost, but listen to Channing Fry. Yeah. He was amazing today. And uh, every young kid in the NBA or young kid in high school or college should listen to him today. He was awesome. <laughs> he was. It was, it was <laughs> uh, great, great uh, memories of his days in Cleveland uh, and uh, the championship and, and everything else. What? I have a suggestion for the steam room. What? Why don't y'all dress like you're in the steam room? TK does uh, that for No, me. but you should. Yeah. No, hey, that's hey, okay. Let's, hey, we're doing well. We've been I, I, downloaded like 700,000 times. That's all? Yeah. yeah no. I thought it was 25 trillion. No, no, that was just this week. Oh, okay. You heard about, okay. heard about Shaq, uh, Shaq and I's. Yeah, Dom okay. and Dumber. Okay. No, what's oh, it called? Six Rings. Six Rings. Yeah. Coming soon. Coming soon to a Liar, Liar is really one of your top five movies? You know, I love Liar, Liar. You don't like Liar, Liar? One of your top five? No. Did you mean Dumb and Dumber or Liar, Liar? No, Liar, Liar, Liar is better. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, That's okay. your road podcast. I got something for you, Ernie. Play better than the whole thing. I, I don't think you're so. Right. You're right, Mason. Yeah. You're right, Mason. What are we talking about I here? I got something for you. Oh, Alex Caruso. Caruso. I love Caruso. it. Caruso. Good pass, Caruso. Good pass, yeah, thank you. Good luck, Ernie. Remember, that was Kenny. Oh, okay. called, Kenny called me that when we were doing the Minnesota Laker game. Oh, push it, Ernie. Yeah. Elevator, Ernie. <laughs> Elevator, Ernie. There you go, elevator oh, early. Oh, I, ah. I really don't think we can. Okay, you get a seven. Hey, what a gun, 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 hey, and hey, you. Too. I got some good news, my friend oh, Don Kowalski. Elevator early with two balls, he drops one. Love you, Don Kowalski. Oh, oh, hello, on, Judy. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, push it, Ernie, push it. Push it, Ernie. Ah, ah EJ with the sweet J. That's nice. Oh, I see you, EJ. There's yeah. another person who used yeah. to text me all the time, too, named Sean Bunt. Sorry, Sean. I haven't heard from you in a long time. <laughs> Boys suck. So, did we see some video of your daughter trying to dunk? Yes. Huh? Was that a temper, bro? That's a temper. I'm asking. Yeah. I mean, it's a Shrek different Shrek angle. That's so hard to tell. Yeah, wow. Shaq Stadium. It's impressive. Look at my baby. Yep. Show him Shakir. 
That's at the crib. Do it again, baby. Hey, you got you got Jim in your house? Of course. Do it again, baby. Emblems everywhere. Get up, baby. Ah. Wait, Shaq, you got a gym in your house for real? Yes, I do. You got too much money, man. I have a question. That's a nice Did you have gym, that gym man. when you were playing? Uh, no, I just... Uh, Did you have a gym in your house while you were playing? I added it on, thanks to you guys. Wait, what do you mean, thanks to us guys? I, I just added it on. Thanks to us guys. Wait, wait, we good. clearly paying you too much money. No, I don't. <laughs> I can't even afford a gym on the beach. I'm no only mind. making uh, 68000 a year here with you guys. <laughs> I'm going to give you the Fat Joe speak in a little bit. What? I, we so just saw Fat Joe at the All-Star yeah, game. What a good like, brother. If, if, we're, if we really love each other, you're supposed to make sure we all have the same amount of money as you. I, I got you. Okay. Chuck got scared for a second when I do. I did. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, 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 El El Picante. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I got nervous. I was in Vegas in the casino. Vegas. With my mom in the casino in Vegas. He said, "I got to start with my mom and you at the casino." I'm like, oh. I can't believe they put this on the steam room. All right, Shackton's next. It's my point guard. Okay, you have to take attributes from different point guards to build that great one. Build it. You know, I probably want D Rose's explosiveness. And then you got the different arms. So, like, one, one hand, probably like Kyrie's finishes and all that. And then on the other hand, Shea Nice with the finishes. Like, Steve Nash was a, was a really good shooter. Russ, a great rebounder. You know, Braun is always good at passing and, and all that different type of stuff. But I, I know, like, my basketball IQ and awareness, like, nobody watches more basketball than me. You know what I mean? So probably, like, D. Will or uh, Baron Davis is like Bill. Shooting also might be somebody like Gilbert Arenas, like Gil. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I get mad when I'm talking to Shea and guys like that. Because they don't be realizing how nice people like Gil was. Right. And we welcome you back to uh, Inside the NBA, presented by Kia. It's always uh, a highlight of the of the show when we do Shaq and the Fool. Yeah. He, said, he said Gilbert, Gilbert Arenas. You're talking about point guard? Yeah. Oh. He's like a two, though. Oh, I thought he was a shooting guard. Yeah, I do, too. Uh, Shaq is not is not here for uh, Shaq and the Fool. Uh, I've been but he's in the you. area. I thought we fired him. It, the show would be so much better without him. No, he's in the area. Shaq, uh, please what? tell us where you're at. Uh, I'm bringing uh, delicious goods. I'm bringing some... Papa John, Papa Diaz, part pizza, part sandwich, but all delicious. You got, I'm trying to get through the, this is the number one seller at Papa John from around the, and I'm trying to. What is it? It's Papa, Papa Diaz. Diaz from Papa John. Part pizza, part, sit, like I'm trying to bring it to you guys, but I guess people thought. There's still more on the bottom. Two more, there's two men there's earning. Some on the bottom, there's some on the bottom. <laughs> hey, back up, move that, get up. Man, that girl could eat a lot. She got like five She's boxes. Looking good for us. She, what city you think? You know what, guys? <laughs> what? Big old girl from I San Antonio to... got all our food, Jack. <laughs> I was trying to bring you food, but Ernie, yeah, always got a present for you. What Wait, what do? about uh, us? I, I'm, we got some greedy people here at Turner. So that's all I got to say. What's the present for me, Shaq and a fool? R roll your show. You'll see. Oh. Sponsored Shaq and a fool. I thought it was. I'm sorry. Yeah. He, yeah. sh he, he shacked at a fool. No, yeah. but when I'm sponsoring a show for himself by yeah. himself. You gonna himself. sponsor yourself and then try to <laughs> pass it off to Ernie? I thought. No. How do you well, sponsor well, yourself? I, I, I made a mistake when I was filling out the paperwork. It said Nito and it said Shaq and the Fool. Oh. I saw my name, so no, I, I just so signed. Oh. I'm, I'm that's sorry. That's, look, that's a little uh, cocky. The Nito was unsullied by sponsorship since 1989. 1989. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm gonna do. I, I would like, sir. Can we? We can't get any of the food. We can't get it. Hey, man, don't. That old big girl from San Antonio got like five boxes. Nito is coming up next. We're gonna put these guys to the test. It's quiz time. Uh oh. Next. Is it gonna be Papa John's? <laughs> Tomorrow night at nine Eastern on NBA TV and the NBA app. It's that time. It's.